My name is Brian Stark, and I like to run. Actually, I like to get places by running, and the farther, the better. Several years ago, I followed a route called the American Discovery Trail across the entire U.S. on a 5,000-mile run. Recently, a trail volunteer from Nevada called me with a challenge. He wanted someone to set a record for the fastest crossing of his state on foot using trails, and that someone was me. The 500-mile run would be the second time I'd run across Nevada. Unlike last time, when I ran on a highway, this trip would be a rugged trail route crossing 15 mountain ranges, 5 wilderness areas, 6 state parks, and 37,000 feet of climbing. My goal was 10 days. I usually travel alone, but for something like this, I needed a crew, and each mile would depend on their ability to keep me going. I called it the Trans-Nevada Ultra. Sitting here with Reese Lukai Jr. How long have you been in the car, Reese? Too long. <laughs> My rear end hurts. <laughs> Almost a baker for the start of the 500 mile Nevada Ultra. Hey, 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 finally. Hey, strangers. I'm serious now. Every stop we make, we want to be in the shade, so that okay, because every ca second counts, kind of a deal. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have this shade set up for you on the longer stops. The biggest question everybody's going to have is, why are you doing this? I really enjoy getting places under my own power, on my own feet, and uh, this is. I've done 28 states already and um, I love going from one point to another and I think that this I see this as like a grand experiment to see what is a human body truly capable of on, a, on an accelerated rate and I know over history people have done stuff much more impressive than this years and years ago Native Americans 100 miles a day but uh, just to get out there and see what what I can do on a daily basis, day after day for 10 days. Can I cross a whole state? That's kind of a cool idea. Yeah.
Folks in Phoenix won't believe this is Nevada. Gorgeous canyon. Saw a deer and two snakes. Did you? So we're just down at the dock. Okay. We got the the trucks up here too with the water and everything. Okay. You need to refill. Day three, just uh, finished 85 miles for two days, and Hewitt's here, we're in Creston, and we're gonna run uh, flat to Duckwater Indian Reservation. Should be a lot of flat today, I'm looking forward to some, mm, uh, maybe a big mileage day, but we'll just get out there and see what happens. Here goes day three. And over there's where he's going. Uh, day three, got some hardcore tracks here. I think those would be mountain lion. All right, here comes Brian up the trail, heading out of Duckwater. He's already on about mile 20, and it's 8.45. Good stuff, here he comes. Day four, I've run 22 miles so far, it's about 11 a.m. An endless valley. Looks like it's 100 miles long. And I'm going slow. Number 14 or 15 stream crossing. Did you that? You have to get the feet wet, so that's good stuff.
This is one of our brief walking breaks. Day 9, sunrise, 6 a.m. It's six mile canyon, right? So guys, we got about like, six, 14 right? and a half miles and then up this, this washboard road. Yeah. And then uh, eight miles of pavement. Two flats, six up. Twenty two miles. Oh, it's gonna be warm. Drop this Carson guy. I wanna see you yeah. drop it. Oh, that won't be tough. <laughs> no. 
Yeah. That won't be tough. Thank at you all. for being here. All right, Ted. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. So I just this way? We just go that way. Yeah, I'll be the guy in the silver truck telling you where to go. I know where to go. I don't know how to make it work. I'm running across the state of Nevada in July. <laughs> I'm following the American Discovery Trail, which is a coast-to-coast -coast trail. And in Nevada, it actually connects six of Nevada's state parks. And it's a beautiful connector that allows people to kind of extend the state park experience. So I don't know how you train for this. That's a great question. I'm running about 48 miles a day right now. I'm at day 11, and my body is saying, OK, is the end of this thing near? And I can see the Sierra of Nevada is just over the hill. And, I'm very close, so my feet are happy about that. How does that make you feel that you're pretty close to the end? Well, you know, I said, <laughs> yeah, I saw the Sierras uh, from uh, Table Mountain a few days ago, and that was really exciting to see the snow on top and know I was getting closer. But now they're no longer gray. Now they're coming into view and focus, and I'm just looking forward to running down to Lake Tahoe. And it's a and wonderful way to travel. You see everything that's out there at five miles an hour. I would encourage you now, you to in on Lake Tahoe. Kind of advice you give him for that. I have a long black whip. I go alongside and hit him a lot. Um, <laughs> No, we're a team of three actually backing him up, and uh, we don't have to do a thing. He uh, is totally passionate about this, does not need to be encouraged in any way. Beautiful day. Beautiful last day. I'm gonna miss this when I'm packing lunches tomorrow. You got the kids with you, that's good. What are their names? Dylan and Owen. Owen and Dylan. Owen and Dylan. Yep. Good men. One more mile to go. Woohoo! About one and a half. One and a half. Seven days, seven hours, and 28 minutes. There's ice cold water in that, uh, in the cooler, there's ice cold water here. <laughs> way to go, man. What a way to finish. What a way to finish. Fantastic. Way to go. <laughs> Have a Coke.
Thank you.